welcome to another lesson for your uh, AAF oak ut test prep in this lesson five we'll learn um, math knowledge the basic algebra so um, before you start make sure that you have a notebook and a pen and write all the single steps on the screen to make sure that you you understand every single concept so this is very much everything you need um, for your AAF oak ut test in the math knowledge section so after we finish this lesson um, download this application from app store or google play and practice lesson 5 on the app so it has more practice problem and you could also take practice test so that kind of tells you you have learned something or not okay so let's get started in this lesson we'll learn how to uh, multiply variables and divide variables multiply factors addition subtraction of algebraic expression simplify algebraic expression find value of an, an algebraic expression factorize um, square and square roots and matrices so let's get started the first thing we'll learn how to multiply variables so learn this concept like try a few times to make sure that you fully understand so if you multiply um, a variable, the first thing you have to do, you have to add the exponent. So here, 5 and 8, so you need to multiply 5 times 8 is 40, and you have to add this exponent together. So that is 3 plus 6 gives you 9. So the answer is 40 x to the power 9 power. The, the, the formula here, so if x to the power m and x to the power n if you are multiplying you have to add the exponent so if you follow the rule you could find out all different kind of multiplication of variables so let's go to next problem so in this problem you'll see the same thing in here so we have 7 x to the power second power y to the power fourth power 9 x 5 y to the power negative 1 so what you have to do first you have to multiply the numbers so 7 times 9 is 63 and then you could see here x to the power second power and x to the power fifth power right so you see here negative 2 plus 5 4 minus 1 so if you simplify that gives you 63 x3 y3 so as always pause the video and try to do by yourself make sure that you learn it so in order to learn like um, effective way, the best way you could do, practice multiple times. I'll repeat over time this thing. So let's go to next problem. So same here. So this is an um, practice problem. You try by yourself, pause the video and make sure that you get this answer. The same thing here this is another uh, practice problem. So you practice by yourself. Make sure that you get this. If you don't understand, like follow the first two examples and try to do by yourself. So the next thing we'll learn how to divide algebraic expression. So same way, whatever you did, um, the formula here, if both of them are x, the top and bottom, and then you want to divide it, that means you have to um, subtract the exponent. And another important thing you need to know, x to the power negative one, equal 1 over x to the power 1 so that is if so like 5 to the power negative 2 that is 1 over 5 square so this is that so now let's do this one. so 8 divided by 2 gives you 4 right and then x to the power negative 5 a negative 2 and x to the power 5 so that gives you negative 2 negative 5 and then y to the power 3 minus 5 so this is that so this is one form of this um, answer but the answer might vary in the in the practice test or um, in the actual test so what you could do so this is exactly the same thing that i showed in here so x to the power negative 7 will be 1 over x to the power 7 so and um, y to the power negative 2 that is 1 over y to the power second power so that gives you 4 over x to the power 7 y to the power second power so make sure that you understand this concept so you don't know what format uh, you will get your um, course then in the test this is another um, practice problem so you try by yourself 
and make sure that you get this same answer. Now we'll learn how to multiply expressions with a variable. So you could see here this is 7x cubed parenthesis 9x to the power fifth power plus 3. So what do you have to do? You have to distribute the whole thing with that and also distribute with that. So that exactly you need to do. So 7 times 9 is 63 x to the power third power plus x to the power fifth power gives you x to the power 8. Same way multiplies 7 times 3 is 21 x to the power third power here there is nothing x in here so that gives you x to the power third power so that is the answer as i said pause the video and try to do it so just don't like do it make sure that you understand and learn it that cover very much everything for your officer candidate exam so let's go so now we'll learn how to multiply factors so if you want to multiply factors so what you have to do you have to distribute this multiply with that this multiply with that this with that that with that right so let's follow the pattern so you could see here that we split in here x to the x plus five times by three first the whole thing with that and then um the whole thing with the five two right the five with the x three so either way, there are many different ways you could do it. Um, but now you could multiply x times x gives you x squared. 3 times x is 3x plus x times 5 is 5x. x times uh, 5 times 3 is a 15. So now you have to simplify. Simplify means you have to combine the like terms. So you have x squared, 3x and 5x, 8x because um, they're like term and they have the same sign in the front. So you add them together and keep the big sign on here right so this is the answer so this another example here so let's do it together so this time you have a negative and positive in here in in, in the um inside the parenthesis so let's do the same way you multiply x with the whole thing again and negative 2 with the whole thing again right so let's do x with that and then like distribute that so x times is x squared 7 times x 7x negative 2x and this you see here this is positive times negative gives you negative 14. now simplify the like terms they have two different sign here so you have to subtract from big number to small number and keep the big number sign one so that gives you x square plus 5x minus 14. so this is a, a practice problem you try by yourself and make sure that you get this answer if you don't get this answer make sure that you practice the previous example it will help you the next thing we'll learn how to simplify algebraic expression you basically um uh, actually did like few problem in before when you multiply the variables you actually did that so now let's refresh that again so adding means this one and this term right so what you have here the first term plus second term so what you need to do, you need to combine the like terms. So these are the like terms here, x squared. Now 9x and this 9x is like term. And then um, this one and that one are like terms. So let's do it. So 6x squared and 1x squared. If you don't have anything, that means 1, right? So that gives you 7x squared, right? Now you have this 9x and this is positive 9x so 9x minus 9x you could cancel out right so that is zero and then same way plus 5 minus 12 gives you minus 7 so that is the answer so now let's go to the next problem so now learn how to uh, subtract algebraic expression so what you have to do you have to write first term negative time negative sign then the second term so now the many people get confused with this negative sign here. So this negative sign this is a parenthesis mean you need to multiply with this negative sign with every single term inside the parenthesis. So what you did here, this term minus this, that's the second term. So if you multiply with the negative sign that gives you negative 2x square, negative times positive gives you negative. Now same way, find out the like terms x square with x square, x with x and x y x y. So you have 4x only here so keep it separate 2x square 2x square that gives you negative 4x square 7xy and 5xy that gives you 
12xy. So now this is another um, simplified algebraic expression. So it's the same as a fraction. So always remember, anytime you add a fraction or subtract fraction, you have to turn into a, um, a common denominator. So you have to find the common denominator. So then you have to do, if you don't have anything you know, so that means you have one. So what is the common denominator between one and five? Is definitely five, right? So one here. So what you could do here, common denominator is five here. So five divided by one gives you five. So that's why you multiply five with x plus three minus five divided by five is one. So whatever you have in there, let's put exactly same thing. So now you could see here, so this is the term here, right? So you need to multiply with this negative sign with everything. So that's why you have 5x plus 15 minus 6x plus 2. Okay, be careful with that. So now same way, find the like term. So that gives you 5x minus 6y plus 17 over 5. So that is the answer. So now how to um, divide fraction. So we, if you follow our lesson, you see lesson one, um, how to divide uh, fraction. So that is called keep, change, flip. So keep whatever you have in the left side, send the sign division into multiplication, and then flip the second term. So you, I just flipped it. So when you flipped it, you could also um, cross out the like terms. So you see, this is the like expression. This is the same expression. So you could cross them out. So that gives you 5x plus 2y over x minus 3. So here, couple of more examples. So pause the video and try to do by yourself. Um, make sure that you understand. So I try to give as many as practice problem so that you could practice more in order to get um, um, the high score on that math knowledge section. So, you know, there are mainly two section in, in the test is arithmetic reasoning section and math knowledge, but uh, sometimes they're combined and sometimes they're separate. It depends what test you are taking. So now let's um, simplify and um, algebraic expression or find value of an algebraic expression. So here, if f, x equal to 3 and y equal to negative 5, then find the value of x squared minus 2xy. So it's just very simple. Um, you need to plug the value x and y into that expression. So um, let's say replace the value x with 3 and y, um, y with negative 5. So that I did. Here, so that 3 times 3 times 3 is 27 and then 2 times negative 5 gives you um, so now first you have to do the inside the parentheses so 5 cube that gives you 125 negative because negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5 gives you 125 negative right so this is that and then multiply that by negative 2 here that gives you 250. Now add this number together, that gives you 277. So pause the video and try to do by yourself. There is another example in here, the same way, let's plug the value x and y and simplify it. So four minus two is two squared, that gives you four. There is another practice problem in here, pause the video and then try to do by yourself and make sure that you get this answer. So the next concept will learn how to factorize. This is a very important concept um, for your officer candidate test. So now let's do it. So we have 5x plus 15xy. So factorizing means you need to find the, uh, the common expression in this in this um, two terms. So what is the common thing in here? So 5x and 15xy. So that is actually 5x. So if you take the 5x common, right? So what do you have to do? You have to divide both sides by 5x. So you're taking common, right? By 5, 5x. So 5x divided by 5x gives you 1. 15x divided by 15xy divided by 5x gives you 3y. So that is the answer. So there is another factorizing. So if you see here, so if you want to factorize, you have to take the common term, right? So this is the common term here. This is the common. So this take this common out. So if you take this common out, so what do you have here? So this is the common term. Then you have left over this one plus that one. So that is that 
answer. So now let's learn how to do medial factoring, right? So it's very important concept. So let's pause the video and watch this um, problem multiple times because you need many times this type of problem, either uh, factorizing or sol solving an um, equation. So let's learn how to do it, okay? So the first thing you have to do, you have to um, see like if you have anything in front of x. So if you don't have anything, so that means you have only one. So multiply first term with last term that gives you 12, right? Now you have to split this 12 into such a way that if you multiply, that gives you 12. And if you add or subtract, gives you negative seven. So what are those two numbers? So you could start anywhere you want. So if you do like two and three or two and six, so that gives, gives you six times two is 12, six plus two is eight, or six minus two is uh, four, it's not gonna work. So now I split this again. So this is three and two, right? So now you could do another combination, three times four is 12, right? So if you, this times, this is two times two is four. So you could split that um, into three and two, right? So now you could see here, so three and um, four, right? So three times four is 12 and three times, uh, three plus four is seven. So you could split that. So now um, you split this seven X into negative three X minus negative four X. So if you take the X common here, so that gives you X times X minus four. And if you take three common here, that gives you three times X minus four. So um, now X minus four is common here and then X minus three. So the answer is X minus four times X minus three. Make sure that you understand this thing. It's very important to understand that. So there are a few uh, practice problems you try by yourself. Pause the video and practice at least a few times. Make sure that you get these answer options and um, that will be good. The next thing we'll learn how to um, find a square root of a number. So, so a square root means, so a square root over 25 means uh, five. So that means you need to find a number multiplied by itself is the square root of that number, right? So 169, so that is 13 times 13 um, equal to um, 169. Another thing that you see is square root and square, they are canceled out actually. Okay, so that gives you 13. The same way, um, if you do this one, so that gives you this multiply that, so you need to multiply number with number and inside the square root with the square root. So that gives you three times four is 12 and three times two is six. So that is the answer. You try by yourself, make sure that you get these two answers from this. Another example, so you have like this, uh, actually this question came in the test many times. So you have 81 square root. If, if you have like that, you need to treat each term separately. Okay. So 81 square root over 81 gives you 9. x to the power, fourth power gives you x square. And then you could write x to the power 6. So you know that x is x cubed to the power second power. So as I mentioned before, this is square root and this canceled out. So that gives you x to y to the power third power. You try by yourself, make sure that you get this answer. So now we'll learn how to um, do um, matrices. So this is the matrices that is um, two matrices. So you could add them up. So three with five. So you have to like add the these items in here. Okay, so three with five, zero with three, two with two, four with seven. So that gives you um, three plus five is eight, zero plus three is three, two plus four is four, seven plus four is 11. So this question is uh, recently coming in the test. So make sure that you practice. There is another uh, practice uh, problem. So you could try by yourself, make sure that you get this answer. So I try to give like as many practice problem so you could you could practice by yourself but the most important thing that the flow what exactly you need to learn 
so that's important so if you learn all these things it will help you to um do that particular section in the the the, uh, the basic algebra algebra part in the uh, in the officer candidate test so this is same thing like subtraction so you have to do like element with element so this with that this with that this with this this with that right so let's follow that um subtract so seven minus minus three gives you seven plus three and then negative one minus two minus two plus two two plus five so that gives you seven plus um i think it should be ten here seven plus three is ten negative three zero and seven so that is the another practice problem you try by yourself make sure that you get this answer the multiplication so make sure that you learn how to do the multiplication so what do you need to do the multiplication it will go like this and this will go like that so three times four two times two one times four five times two there is another practice problem so you try by yourself make sure that you get this thing so that's very much for this lesson make sure that you practice those and as i said download this application from app store or google play and practice on lesson five so this video with tied with lesson five in the application do the homework on the app and then take the practice test with 80 percent or higher so that will give you the enough confidence that you have learned all the materials for the lesson.